Right, we've gone onto an object that the call. This can be any kind of short, solid object with some kind of edge to it that can be utilised for raking as well as impact. The first one we're going to show, Carl turns his back to Andy, Andy does a bear hug from underneath. All Carl needs to do here, strike the back of the hand and then rake it with the blade, turn the hand away and utilise the butt end as an impact weapon. Let's just see that one again. As soon as the arms come round, Carl hits the back of the hand right in the sensitive spot, rakes across, takes the hand away, there's the exposure, there's the strike. Let's just see that from the other side guys, please. Notice what Carl does here, hits the back of the hand, rakes it across, pulls the hand away, exposes the side of the neck and uses the butt end to finish him off. Okay, let's go to the next one which is a two-handed choke from front. Again Carl's going to utilise the blade to cut whatever he wants to, just pull the hands away, nice and simple, then he can do whatever he wants. The pain that is caused by this type of raking automatically causes a release of grip. Let's just see that one again. There we go, pulls away, no problems. That'll get him off out of any kind of gripping attack from the front. So why drop something as good as that when you've got it? Okay, final attack. Just an ordinary block attack here, and what Carl's going to use now is a rake across the face and can come back with an impact strike again. Let's just see that once more. Carl steps in, does a cover block, rakes across the face, impact at the bottom. How easy it is to use something as simple as a comb in your defence. Okay, thanks guys. Right, next category is what we've labelled projectile weapons, which speaks for itself. These are objects that you can throw, or in the case of like an aerosol, use as a kind of a spray. And what we're looking for here is not often massive impact or any kind of massive damage to your attacker, just a chance for you to formulate a further follow-up or an escape. Although I did read several years ago in the Manchester Evening News about a lady who actually knocked out a burglar by throwing heavy potatoes at the guy. Now that sounds quite comical, but a potato uncut one is quite a solid object and I should imagine three or four of those across the head is quite a good impact. So even something as simple as an everyday object like a potato can be used as a projectile object. What we're saying here is that you have to not just throw blindly, wildly or in panic. It has to be aimed. It has to be directed towards your attacker. And if all it does is provide a visual uh, distraction for you to do something else, that is, itself is enough. If you're reading a book, throw the book. If you're having a drink of tea, throw the cup. If you're actually, if there's a girl who's in the toilet's doing her hair, utilise the hairspray, spray it in the guy's face. Don't find these weapons, have them at hand. You know, I've seen people put glasses down in real situations to defend themselves. Why not just simply, let them cut somebody or smash the glass and start carving people up. Just throw it at them, just anything to make them back off a little bit. Projectile weapons are always going to be where you are. They're always going to be available, particularly at home. There is nowhere in the house where you haven't got something you can throw at somebody. Now all it has to do is stop them in their tracks, distract them from their intended attack long enough for you to do something else. In some cases if it's heavy cans of corned beef or beans or something like that, so that's quite a, a heavy object and if you throw enough of those at people you're going to cause some damage. So this is quite a useful little distraction weapon that can go beyond that. Don't plan it to be an impact weapon, plan it to be a distraction weapon, but it can be very, very useful. So let's just see a couple of those. Right, on this idea of using projectile weapons, something as simple that most people should have is some coins in the pocket, or you know anything at all, even, even your car keys, you can pick them up afterwards. Utilise them correctly, utilise them at the right timing, and they can become a very, very good weapon. If I'm just walking in threatening and I just throw these things up to the coins and say, there he is, he's now mine to finish off as I choose. You can pick the coins up afterwards, and if you don't find them all, it's worth a pound or two to save your life. 